Generic greetings and welcome back to Capitalism slash Materialism Architect, otherwise known as Another Brick in the Mall, a game I featured only once before as a preview and a lot of people wanted to see it again, so here we are. This is the, we can't really call it the mall because it's really three individual stores, but this is the shopping complex generic materialism outlet that we have created. We've got a small shop up the top here, the first one we made, then the tutorial type one. And then we went down and made this fairly big one here. As you can see, it's got loads of different products in there. And then finally, we made the liquor store on the left-hand side, which has just got liquor, frozen pizza, other amenities, and also a toilet with stalls and stuff in there. Yeah, very, very nice. So, what I want to do in this video is firstly have a beverage. Today's beverage is... Milk, mmm, tasty. I've got loads of it for various reasons. Uh, what I want to do is alter some of the items... On the shelves, because we've got multiples of the same one and we've unlocked more stuff via the research tree here. I want to then probably build another area, probably this area here, and have a have a restaurant because we've got now and again a pop-up coming pretty much every day actually. A pop-up saying that uh, we've had missed sales because we don't have one of them. So we don't have a restaurant. So I want to build a restaurant. The problem is money. And I think it is a big problem. At least I've, I have I must, I must not be doing that well because I don't really make much money. As you can see, le yesterday's net profit was only 700 and today it's about 400 So yeah, it takes a long time to actually get any amount of money by the look of it because, well, considering to make that building, it's probably 30 grand. Yeah, I don't know how much you're going to get enough money to build what I need. Anyway, what I might do is uh, split this up and have a restaurant down here and then liquor there. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, we've got a couple of achievements as well, or objectives rather. Sell 40 different types of products. we got 35 or 40. If you get that, you get a reward, which is good. Turn a daily profit of over two grand. Obviously, we're nowhere near that. We're only on 842. Uh, not grand, just, you know, generic credits. And have 100 customers on site. Nowhere near. We've only got 43 at maximum. And make five or 5,000 total sales. So we're getting close towards that. We're, what, 5,000 5, uh, is maximum what we need. We've got 4,154. So... Yeah, uh, there's been a couple of changes since the last video. I've put in another like parking section here. I'm just going to expand it across and have parking gridded down. And also, this store now opens up with the other one, with the liquor store. So it opens at the same time. It opens at 8, closes at um, 10. 8 till 10. And I've uh, got split shifts in there. That's something I mentioned, actually. I said, oh, I wish there was uh, some sort of split, sh uh, split shift system. And I said, you know, because at the moment we've only got, like, some people turn up at 8 and finish at, uh, what, 8 till 4? And then we've got some people at 12 till 10. Something like that. And I said, I wish you could have it split. And the way you do it, essentially, is you have it on auto salary, but you reduce their work hours to four hours. So you have four hours, four hours, four hours, four hours, instead of the uh, the full eight hours. So, yeah, that's how you do it. It's just a bit more of a pain because you have to hire more people and such. Anyway, uh, what else have I done? I think that is about it. There's been a couple of patches since the last episode, and the main one, uh, the, the main... Uh, couple, I guess, uh, adds more rotation for a lot of the items, including the uh, including the checkout counters as well, so that's pretty good, so there's more rotation in there, so it is getting worked on, just, you know, it still is what it is. So this is a shelf with lots of toys on, and we've got three toys here, toys, toys, and toys, and I think we've also got toys up here, yes, so we want to change this, so we're going to change this one to, actually, we'll change the ones down here, this one is car tools and car tools, we're going to change the car tools to... We've got detergents, we've got loads of health and beauty stuff, we've got loads of clothing, so we're going to change this to detergents, there we are. This one for toys will change to, oh, look, health and beauty, so you've got soap and shampoo, cosmetics, tooth care, we'll go for cosmetics, and we'll change the next one to tooth care, and then the other one to probably, um, deodorants, I think, yeah, something like that. These ones are all individual. What about the food shelf? Is there anything I can change on there? No, they're pretty much all the same. And in here, yes, they're pretty much all the same as well. So anything where we've got, like, multiples of the same thing, we want to change. So Frozen, there's nothing to change in Frozen. That's fine. Uh, over here, we might have multiples of the same. These are pet food and sliced bread, uh, rice and pasta. Actually, I think we have sliced bread over here, do we not? Uh, rice and pasta and sauces, yes. So this one here, where we've got rices and pasta, hang on, uh, rice and pasta, we can change that and we can change it to... Oh, no, we can't. It's not the ones we want to change. We want to change these. So we've got toys, light bulbs. <coughs> Me sneezing, and, excuse me, uh, what else? Health and beauty, light bulbs, we've only got one of those, I think. The problem is that we, 
might have to get rid of some food shelves. Or do we need to? Sauces. See, we've got two sauces and seasoning. We don't really need that. What we want to do is max speed it. We want, for a start, someone to come up and clear these bags. There you go. And now refill the shelves. There you go. There's more items, cosmetics and stuff. And you've got your toothpaste. You've got your shower. You've got your deodorants. You've got shower gels and stuff. There we go. So more customers as well. Hopefully then we are... Uh, it says sell 40 different types of products. So on 35, I'm sure we've added some more there. So maybe that only counts after each day. No, no, it's definitely a live total. 36, 37, 38. It looks like it just wasn't getting sold. So we need two more. We need two more. So where's the... Where's the... What's the best way of doing it? Well, we've got canned food that we could probably get rid of. Uh, we could probably... I think we've already got canned food. Let's have a quick look. Bottled water loads, wine loads. Mm. We could probably go over here. Instead of having the liquor store, we could get rid of some of these. Because you don't need all of these shelves. Because you... You don't need... You don't have, like, different types of the wine. It's just wines, wines, wine, as far as I'm aware. Yeah. So what we'll do... We've got to build and objects. Actually, no, because it's not. It's remove objects. So that one, that one, and that one. And well, then we'll put something else in here. Um, actually, do we need to do that? We could probably we could probably do it a different way. Actually, we could probably go to build objects shelf and then rotate it. That's the wrong button. Build shelf. Oh, it doesn't rotate. These don't rotate. That's a shame. All right, we'll just put them in here then, like that. And we're going to rename this. So we're going to rename it. And instead of this being the booze and stuff mart. Oh, booze and stuff. It's okay. It's the booze and stuff. It's not just booze. It's booze and stuff. So we, we should be okay there. Hmm. Okay, so. That's fine. So we'll speed up to max speed. And then, um. There's the toilet flushing. We've got a Miss Sales Opportunity Restaurant. That's a problem. So the shelf. What can we have on the shelf? Well, we've got, um. Health and beauty. Tools. Clothing. Men's shoes. Um. Women's shoes. Men's underwear. Woman's underwear. And then finally, some uh, drugs right next to the booze. Yeah, because why not? I don't think it means, like, illegal ones. At least I assume not. I don't know what country or state we're in. I guess if it's selling it in a shop, it won't be illegal. It'll be legal drugs. But I'm guessing it's things like uh, paracetamol or paracetamol or ibuprofen or other generic anti-inflammatory product or painkiller. I do think we need another janitor. Manage the storage, storage maintenance, staff. Janitor, we've got two janitors. Probably need to hire. For a start, we need to alter some of these builders. Oh, they're okay. Janitor, nine. Starts at nine. That guy starts at eight. We'll say you start at 12 and we'll hire a janitor. And you start at 8 o'clock. So you clean up through the night. I think that'll make sense, right? So they clean up through the night. Cool. Obviously, there's been a lot of people um, enjoying the last video. Uh, saying, you know, feature more, hence why we're here and stuff. And, you know, I am enjoying the game. And also, I call for a series. I don't think it's a series thing just yet. I mean, I would like to do it because it's uh, the sort of thing I like to play. But um, I think it needs a little bit more... A little bit more for me to really jump into it as a series, but I'm not ruling it out. Just uh, once uh, the current one is finished, we'll uh, be moving on to something else. It might be this, it might not be. We'll see how it goes. Uh, in terms of cash, profit, look at that. Look at it go up. Apparently, you make a lot of profit then when uh, it comes to selling this. When it comes to this, although, is that profit? Did that count the. Uh, did, 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 did it count that thing there? About the uh, turn. Uh, it sells different types of products. I think it's the clothing, the clothing thing that did it. I think it was clo clothing. Look at that. Look at the profit go up. It might have been clothing. Does it actually tell me? So, profit and... Gross profit's gone up. But it doesn't tell me. It doesn't tell me what things that were selling. There needs to be a better... Maybe, is, it, is it somewhere? Sales number goes up. Parking number. This is just... Different, like... Different... Yeah, that's just different things. Comparison mode. No, it's absolute. Salaries. Daily debt. Total debt. 
Yeah. Okay, so it doesn't tell me what item is selling when. There's needs, which we are fulfilling, as you can see, for the most part. There's a lot of fresh bread need, but we're not getting there. But either way, there's a lot of stuff that we just... It tells us... Hang on. Is it in here? Health and beauty. It tells us the sales and what the demand is. But it doesn't tell us how much profit we're making on each of the items, which is a shame. Looks like we've just got electronic supply completed. We're now going for media supply. Very, very good. Overall objectives now. Uh, sell 50 different types of product, which we are getting there. That's, that's fine. We can probably... Probably... Let's have a quick look. Margin 40%. Oh my good grief. Look at the shoes and stuff. They're selling a lot. Shoes and things are selling quite a bit. What I might do, I'm going to, we've even got, we've got even more stuff done here. More money. Look at the money rolling. Uh, can we get tools, luxuries, bowling, cinema? There's nothing else that go in the, in the freezers, in the chiller, which is a shame. The wine's getting sold. Hmm. What we probably need to do is get rid of a lot of these things down the bottom here. And have... Yeah, okay, that's what we're going to do. We're going to... Pause it a second. We're going to go to build, remove walls and objects. We're going to remove all of this. Okay. Like that. And then once they're removed, we will have to consider a couple of things. So these... Ones that are selling wine. Obviously, you want to change those. So that two are selling wine. And others are selling... Oh, it actually doesn't say. It hasn't updated, look. It says liquor four. But I know that's not the case because I've just removed all of them all. It might be the next day that it updates. It might be the next day. Either way, going over to build. Objects. Shelf. Shove some shelves in. Shelves in. Shelving in. There we go. We want to have things like, this is the stuff mart. Soap and shampoo, because we're not selling that. We want to sell shaving cream and razors. We want to sell some first aid. And you know what? I think the underwear section generally works out. There we are. This should be next to each other. This is just messing around, obviously. If we're going to do a full one and plan it off, then... That would, that would be something we would do. So, there you go. This one's not selling any liquor. So, we're going to change that to liquor. So, we got two liquor and enough beer and such. And in terms of fridges, oh, we've got enough for everything else. That's fine. So, we should easily sell uh, them different types of products. One would hope, anyway. 47 at the moment. But once we get the rest in, we should be okay. Either way, we have 79 grand. Enough, I hope, to go to build foundation. And put a fairly big building in here. Like so. That size so they can go around the top, you see. And we want to have a entrance. And that'll be a customer. Where is it? Double door. And I don't know where the centre is, so we'll just put a close... Put it on this side, maybe? Yeah, I'll put it on this side. There we go. There's that. Uh, normal speed for a second. Mistrust Opportunity Restaurants. Well, that's what we're building now. And queue's full. Oh, and the booze and stuff, Mart. There's a lot of people coming in the booze and stuff, Mart. As you might... Expect, to be fair, because there's a lot of people here. How are we on sell... 50 different types of products. 47. 47. Nothing else we can sell. No. No. They're okay. It's fine. These are just beers at the back. And then you got ice cream and other things. So maybe... We need to hire some more people in the booze and stuff, Mart. Because we've always got one checkout empty, you see. Okay, so we'll manage store. Look at the profit going up there. Look at it go straight up. That's great. Right, so we've got staff and we've got three cashiers. But I think we need to hire a cashier. 
and you're coming with me. You start at eight, and we'll hire a cashier, and you, but you start at 12, so there you go. So we've always got four people on. The problem with this, actually, we could probably change it to a four-hour shift. So eight, you get four hours, four-hour shift. You, eight, four hours. You, eight, four hours. And then... You, um, eight, four hours. So we got some people coming in in the morning at eight o'clock. They're doing a four hour shift. And then when they go home, the other people turn up. That's actually not the most, that's actually a really inefficient way of doing it, isn't it? Uh, you should probably have it as like six, uh, some six hour shifts. Or some long... There's, there's many ways of doing it, to be honest with you, but whatever. It's done. That's what we're doing. I just wanted to make sure that there's always four people on the checkouts at any one time. Which there is. Good. Okay. So, uh, 50 different types of products. We're on 47 of 50. I'm guessing now, actually, we've because we've got, what was it, electronics? We might be able to... Uh, not manage. We've got to build. And to... Where is it? Uh, clothing rack. You can sell t-shirts and stuff, which we haven't actually got. So, we'll put these in. And that should be that should allow us to sell T-shirts and that. This booze and stuff is becoming more booze and clothing and other assorted items. <laughs> Either way, this is our restaurant, or at least the proposed restaurant area. I've never actually built a restaurant, so I don't even know how it's going to work. So let's pause it. We'll go to a sign and we'll say restaurant food and restaurant requires access cashiers stock clerks fast food cooking range order counters fast food order dispensers oh my good grief um and storage right so we do need storage i was gonna say do we actually need storage we do so let's go to build and then foundation once more and foundations we'll build foundations probably like that that should be enough one would hope and it does thank god, uh, actually click onto the side properly so that it doesn't build a double wall, which is very, very good. So build, walls, uh, sorry, objects. I want a staff door there and a staff door there, really. And then we'll, we'll pause it. So they're going to go over here and build the clothing things, clothing racks. So you've got T-shirts, pants, Dresses, shirts, jackets, and coats. One. And how many got? One, two, three, four, five. I believe then we can actually sell oh, all but one. So pants, otherwise known as trousers, dresses, otherwise known as dresses, uh, shirts, and it's either jackets or coats. Ooh, jackets, because if you want to keep any warmer than that, you've got alcohol to, you know, warm that off. Even though it doesn't make you warmer, it just makes you feel a cold less because you're absolutely clattered. Right, so. Unpause that, and then we will hopefully be able to sell more things. Oh, look at that. It's all, oh, I like the racks. Oh, that's what they are. I thought they were like a... I thought they were a glass, like, top, if you know what I mean. Like a glass-topped um, desk, but they're not. They're like a vertical rack. But it's weird that, obviously, we've got a top-down view with this weird... Not... Well, almost isometric wall pattern, and same as these, but these are, like, completely vertical. Yeah, it's just a bit weird. It, I don't know. It's just a bit weird looking at it like that. Because it's a side on, but we're looking top down. Just a bit di disconcerting. So we've just got 10 grand again because we've uh, sold 50 products. And obviously it's now gone up to 60. So we keep getting achieves for that. Um, we've still got seven missed opportunities. So we need to do that. So we need to assign storage there. All right. And then we need to assign fast food restaurant, which will go in here. Now, we don't actually have a restroom either. So we should probably put one in. So we'll probably do that. And that. Something like that. And then we'll put a wall around this. And then we should be able to put a toilet in there. Only if they are now rotatable. Toilet sink is now rotatable. There's now a urinal. And a paper dispenser. Which I don't know if you need in here. It doesn't actually tell me. Vending machines. There's all sorts of stuff. Arcade cabinets. Anyway. So... What does this fast food restaurant incomplete requires cashiers, stock clerks. Well, let's build the toilet first, actually. Do you want to build the toilets first? Or do you want it? Actually, you know what? It's probably best. If we go to a sign, we actually cancel some of this out. 
and we assign a bit more so the walls actually go along there we could even have that to be fair that you just have it an entrance there and a little no 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 you do need it you do need it like that that's fine okay maybe even shift the door to a bit left would be okay but we'll leave it for now build and walls and put the walls in like so and door which is an object door there you go and then toilets uh we're not gonna put urinal uh, urinal in we'll put in two toilets uh, a sink you split the subject on a wall. Oh, we haven't got a wall. Okay. Strange that we've got a bigger restroom over here than we have in the uh, this area, but you know. Restroom. There we go. So manage. So storage eight. Actually, we need what we're going to call the fast food restaurant. Right. So we call the food. Foods. Oh, we could call it Messidios. Messidios? Nah. Um, foods. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Let's make it modern. iFoods. Alright, it's iFoods. And the restroom is the iLoo. And the storage is um, some very pretentious name like um um haiku um jib 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 hang on jib jib there you go and nobody knows what it means they just go Okay, must must be good. Oh, we are, we probably probably need to change it. Um, storage, store. That's a store room. Actually, that's going to be more confusing because I put store, but it's not a store. It's actually a store room. Store room. Done. Right. So, iFoods. There it is. We need to build, and we need to sort this out. Cashiers, stock clerks, fast food cooking ranges, order counters, fast food... Oh, good. There's lots of, lots of stuff to go in here. So. Order counters. Do I actually need... Is this... It says restaurant. Fast food restaurant. Yeah, it is a fast food restaurant. There's no restaurant. Okay, fine. So, cashiers. Build. Let's have a quick scroll down. Order counter checkout corner. Cooking range. Fast food warmer. So, where is it? Where is it? Cashiers. Store clerks. They're the people. Fast food cooking ranges. There's that one first. So we'll go for that. Fast food cooking range. One. I don't know how many we need. Let's put three in. Right. Order counters. Um, two. Three. Four. Five. Right. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, fast food soda dispensers that you can't rotate around. Nightmare. Nightmare. One, two, three, four. Fast food warmer, I'm guessing. Or is that, or do they go across there? Oh, hang on. Ah, oh, no, no, no. I think I know. I think I know what they're going with here. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. All right, cancel these, cancel these, cancel all of this. I think I know what they're supposed to be like. So we'll have sort of one, two, fast food warmer, one, one, two, like that. We could just shift it along. 
two, three, like that. And then your order counter goes like that, you see. Yes, there we go. And then what else? Actually, that's it, to be honest. <laughs> There's no, no seats. I'm guessing you do need some sort of diner seat. I mean, it doesn't tell you you need it, but surely you can't just have it without. We'll see what happens, though. Right, we'll unpause it. We'll let them crack on. Um, we'll go to manage. Uh, we'll go to the haiku jib jib, and we need to set its uh, manage storage. Actually, that's manage fast food restaurant. Assign storage. There we go. Right, so it opens at nine, finishes at seven. No, we'll open at eight and finish at ten. Staff. Hire a cashier, and there's a good cashier. Pause it a second while we do this. Hire a cashier, we'll get another cashier there. And hire a cook, and there we go, hire a cook. You, stock clerk. Stock clerk. Right, one, two more cashiers, one. And two, two more cooks, one. It's strange that when you hire them, can you actually change their... Yeah, see, I hired the, the cashier there. It, it gave me a list of people, and it said, oh, this, 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 this person you're hiring is a, a cashier. Good, yes, but they've got really good skills in cook. Why can't I just assign them as cook then? Okay, so, cashier, eight, eight. Cashier, 8, uh, we don't want 8 and 8, we want 12 and 12. Alright, cook, 8 and 8, cook, 12 and 12, and then the stock, same sort of deal. Right, uh, let's see what the restaurant is like. I mean, we don't know what it's like. So, we've got media supply completed, turnover daily profit of over, t what? Turn a daily profit of over 20 grand is a new one. I thought that. We've, we've done the 10 grand one. So, missed sales opportunity because of restaurants. We haven't got any. Nobody's uh, turned up for this one just yet, and that's because we've only just got the thing there. Hmm. I hope we have enough storage. I mean, we'll soon find out if we don't have enough storage. Uh, this restroom. Do I have to manage restroom? I don't think you do. It's just the closest person. That's fine. So, we hopefully should have this thing opened up. We've got a bit of a, you know, problem with the money. We're actually not making any, but that's just because of how it is. We can go for uh, longer opening hours, even more than 12. I think you can go from, like, essentially 6 to... No, you can have it open all night if you really wanted to. You can have it open all night. Which is, I'm guessing, the best way of doing it. There's the iFoods coming in. People are cashier there. The cashiers look. So let's just watch this. So we got people taking the food from the boxes and then putting it in this sort of Oh, that's like mixed onions and cucumbers and lettuce and tomato. And then you've got your burger grill. And then what they'll do is, I'm guessing, put the food on here. There you go. Yeah, and that makes a burger and then that person gets it. And they walk out. Right. So it doesn't look like you do need... I don't think you need, a, like, a, t a diner table. But I think it is probably the way to go, actually having some. Because otherwise... It looks silly, but we'll just do that, and we'll see what happens if people actually see if people actually do sit down. Yeah, oh, yeah, people do sit down. That's fine then. There you go. Oh my god, look, there's a lot of people on these lines. Right, restaurants apparently. Am I? They're only queuing in this one. They're only queuing in the centre one. But that works, and it apparently makes you a fair bit of money as well. Managed fast food restaurant. Uh, current net profit is nothing. It's uh, actually it's minus one hundred and one dollars generic units of currency, whatever. Hmm. But we'll see what it is for the day. Once it ticks over to twelve o'clock, I reckon it's gonna be quite high. This, you know, five grand I'd be happy with. Okay, it's lost loads of money. <laughs> it's only made six hundred forty-seven dollars. How? It was selling loads of stuff. I'm guessing prices, right? No, maybe not. I don't know. You don't... There's no way to manage the whatever's in here. You don't manage the, the burgers or anything. It just 
That's what it is. I mean, if anything, we got four cooks. We need to hire more. Because there was, like, well, more cashiers, I think. Hire cashier. You come in at 12. Hang on, some people... Are some people working... Longer? Oh, there's people cooking. People are eating. I'm making money. I shall entirely sure it's around here. The thing is, are people... And one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's the maximum we can have. Are people coming just for the food and then staying to buy the rest or not? Because that's that's the whole point in everything under one roof. You don't have to wander around different areas. So you can go into the mall, you can shop for your like groceries, things like that, then go and have a meal or something, and then maybe take the stuff back to the car or whatever, and then maybe do a bit of like uh looking around later on for some clothes or something into bit so just vanity items things like that and then uh, go home and you know you've had a good time maybe if there's a bowling alley there you send you spend loads of time there but it's all you have to remember about keeping you there as long as possible and making money so i wouldn't be surprised if certain food halls and carts and stuff actually lose money but the total net profit of them being there and keeping people in there that's the point in them i wouldn't be surprised if that is the case hmm either way it works. We're making money. We have... Customers on site, 75 now, maximum customers. Uh, we had, I think it was 41 before, and... Oh, well, I think our parking mall is... Uh, parking mall? Our parking is backing up. So we're going to have to go to Roadworks and Road. And do that. And do that a little bit more. And then essentially have all of this as parking. And a, just a big, big parking lot. Because we do need a big parking lot. Hmm. Anyway, I think I'm going to leave it there. Enjoyed that. Trying around with that one. It's, it's interesting. Bit of a mess around. I wish there was more sounds in it, though. Do like the new rotatable stuff. We do need to make another store as well. And the store would almost certainly... Almost certainly sell... Well, we've got things like... There you go, look. Music books, DVDs, we would have a proper clothing store. We wouldn't do it on this map, we would start again and have a brand new map and such because we've got things, all these things unlocked, like uh, we've just got appliance supplier, I believe that was. So there's a lot of things we could actually have that uh, you just wouldn't you wouldn't have in the same store. Like, you know, this is the booze and stuff, but obviously it's been retrofitted, right? The customers don't seem to care, though. That's the thing, that if they don't care, then I shouldn't care either. Like, there's only... There's only so much that I can really care about when... If they don't care about having to travel different areas, then why should I? You know, I don't know if it models things like travel unhappiness and also things being out of place and a bit unsightly and, um, like, have a bit of a crisis of what the, what the actual store sells. Like, what does it sell? What do you do here? We sell a bit of everything, really. <laughs> I mean, no, that's the whole point in the mall, is to sell a bit of everything, but they're all in defined roles. Like, there's very few stores where you'll go in and say, Ah, I see you're selling selling white goods. Yes, you've got a, you've got some fridge freezers, you've got some washing machines, and, oh, apparently you sell, uh, you sell remote control cars as well. This is interesting. Yeah, uh, oh, what's that? You sell, you sell bricks and breeze blocks together? Really, that's a bit, that's a bit, and perfume, what's going on? <laughs> you know, it's very much disjointed, some of these areas, but, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, that is a little bit more of uh, another brick in the mall. Another brick in the mall. <laughs> and another sip of beverage. I've been wanting to say that for quite some time. Not another sip of beverage, another brick, another brick in the mall. It's just got, it's, it's, it's stuck in my head now. Either way, there you go. These seem to work. Uh, they seem to be really, really happy what they're eating, but they've lost their legs, so maybe they're going to be a bit sad, just like that sad potato there. <laughs> Links in the description so you can check the game out yourself. As always, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.